All right, folks. Um, I think we'll go ahead and uh, start our session. And uh, <clears throat> first thing, I want to uh, you know uh, greet you with a, a good uh, welcome. And it's a Saturday morning, 9 a.m. So thanks for joining at the uh, early, at the early hours. So uh, in today's session, what we're going to do is we're going to know or uh, we're going to see what is the Azure Sentinel. Uh, what is Azure Sentinel and how do we make use of Azure Sentinel and so on? So I'll, uh, I'm Sakish Kumar and uh, Microsoft Azure MVP. I'm going to walk you through today's session and uh, hope you saw my myself <laughs> in the camera. And I'm going, I'm going to stop my video feed and uh, move to the PowerPoint and the demo parts. Uh, just raise up your unmute yourself because we are a very uh, small number of folks in the morning. Uh, so I would say uh, just unmute, your, unmute yourself to ask any questions and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so what is today's agenda is um, the introduction uh, followed with the introduction of the Azure Sentinel and then followed with the demo and if any Q&A. &A. All right, so <clears throat> what is Azure Sentinel? Uh, Azure Sentinel is a newest, uh, one of the newest services offered in the Azure to do a SIEM uh, function. What we call the SIEM is security information and event management function. Why? Uh, there are so many SIEM uh, uh, platforms available and why Azure Sentinel is different for a very uh, is because of its distinctive characteristics. So why every every CM uh, will collect, detect, and investigate, but the ability to respond is very limited with any of the SIEMs. Uh, what that means is when there is a threat, when there is a anomaly that comes out of uh, the Azure Sentinel identified at the Azure Sentinel platform, it allows you to respond to the threat or the incident like fix the issue. So that capability is not available in most of the seams. So that is where Azure Sentinel becomes a different one. So what Azure Sentinel is? Azure Sentinel is a central data store with a lot of automation options, rules, uh, dashboards, nice dashboards, and which we'll see in the later part. And there is a lot of ML uh, machine learning uh, that is happening and uh, there is a capability of search and investigate things, which also which we will see in the uh, next uh, few minutes as well. So uh, if, if if you folks are not, uh, you know, I'm not sure if you folks are familiar, Microsoft is one of the biggest, uh, you know, uh, player in the digital forensics, digital uh, threat detections. Uh, they almost spend a billion dollars a year uh, just for this particular um, threat management uh, intelligence platform. But uh, having said that, um, the Sentinel can natively integrate with Office 65, Azure, uh, ATPs, Advanced Threat Protections in you know Azure or in, in Office 65, and pretty much anything to do with Office 65 and Azure, it can uh, any services, it will actually uh, be able to integrate and connect. So we will see some samples in the demo on how you connect with the Office 65, Azure, uh, and other things you can see. <clears throat> Apart from that, what is the what are the other capabilities that he has? There are there is AWS where the AWS also creates this uh, logs and uh, you know threat and analytics, which can directly integrate with uh, Azure Sentinel as well. So any other SaaS apps also, uh, which is capable of uh, emitting the logs. And the threat intelligence, it can integrate directly with uh, Azure Sentinel. Okay, apart from that, the on-premise uh, systems like you know Cisco routers, Palo Alto firewalls, uh, Windows network devices, Windows uh, sorry Windows fire servers, Windows server which running firewall logs, uh, Linux uh, checkpoint technologies. Or the few uh, on-premise that already supports uh, Azure Sentinel. So basically, if you look at it, the Azure Sentinel is a central platform to uh, look into your cloud and on-premise environment uh, for 
the seam functionality. So all these are integrated coming into one single plane, which will give you a full landscape, a full scope of what is happening at your uh, system level, you know, like network layer, application layer, or uh, even the server level, right? And uh, so we'll move on to the demo session. Uh, in the demo session, uh, we have the following ones. The active, how do we activate the Sentinel uh, overview of the dashboards, do some data connectors, and uh, do a minimum uh, small threat hunting. How do you do threat hunting? And uh, introduction on the playbooks. Uh, so far, is OK, right? Anyone has a question? All right, I will move on to uh, how do we activate uh, Sentinel. So I'm going to use two, two Azure subscriptions uh, to do a demo. The one subscription is a how do uh, I will use it to see go step by step. The second one is already configured with the full functionality. So let me use the first step by step one to activate the Azure Sentinel. This is my uh, Azure login. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and create a Azure Sentinel. So same like every other service, you just need to you know, follow the on-screen instructions. So what you need to do is you will end up in the Azure Sentinel workspace where you need to go and add and it it uh, the Azure Sentinel as a dependency to create a workspace. So you need to create a log analytics workspace in order to sub support. The Azure Sentinel configuration. So what we do is uh, Sentinel, Sentinel workspace. Right. So I'm creating the workspace now. Give a few minutes so you can see the deployment in a minute. Okay, it's created. So remember what we created was, we created a log analytics workspace, which is needed for the Azure Sentinel workspace. So basically Azure Sentinel runs on top of the log analytics uh, workspace. So that gives us the, the first uh, introduction uh, demo where how do you activate your Azure Sentinel? Okay, from now onwards, we'll move to another uh, subscription that I already kept configured. Uh, so we have some historical data to go and uh, play with. So this is my other subscription and I go to my home and then Sentinel. In the Sentinel, you can see my workspace. It's the same. Almost same, but you should be able to see my uh, much more detailed uh, uh, dashboard. So, what as a first step, what you need to do is uh, in the Azure Sentinel, you need to do the connectors. So, you connect all the data that you're using the data connectors. You can connect to Amazon, which we see earlier. Uh, if you look at the status on the right side, it will tell that it's not connected. The status. So, for example, Azure, Azure Active Directory is also not connected. Azure Data Protection, some uh, similarly, this one, uh, all these are the data connectors that you can actually uh, connect. So, one of the things that I already connected is Azure Active Directory Activity, where you see the status as connected status. So, for example, one more I connected. Uh, this is also another one I connected. And if you look at the list, we can see the Barracuda Cloud, the third parties also uh, are able to connect to this. Cisco ASA is the firewall, uh, Cisco firewall one. 
So there are, so there are third party things that is available. And then this one is another important one for the Office 65. For example, you have Office 65 and Azure. The Azure Sentinel gives a unified plane uh, to see anything that is happening between Office 65 and Azure in the in one single plane. All the threat can be directed in one uh, single plane. Right. Uh, so this one is also connected. So we know how you should connect. Uh, if you do the connected page, you can go and the Office 65, you can go and say you connect. This is the say now I want to uncheck uh, or check. So this is how you complete the configuration. It's just a very easy, as simple as that. So what happens when we we'll go to the next step? What happens when you connect the data? So once you connect the data, the Sentinel looks at all the data, the data coming in, and then it aggregates everything. I will go and change this uh, dashboard to last 30 days, so we can see a lot number of uh, alerts that is coming in. All right. So last 30 days, about uh, 1.3k uh, records were there, and you know. Uh, you say you can see all the dashboards to drill down anything. The next thing that we want to do after you know uh, connecting our uh, data sources is one of the things that we can do is a uh, uh, threat hunting. Okay, so the threat hunting. One of the uh, how many of you guys uh, are using Exchange? Uh, I'm not sure how is any of the Exchange administrators are there. One of the Exchange. Uh, uh, one of the Microsoft Exchange, uh, one of the key security incident happens is that non-owner login. Say, for example, the mailbox is logged in by one of the administrators, or uh, you know, non-non-owner. Basically, someone else is acting accessing uh, someone else's mailbox. You should be able to run the simple query to see, okay, if there is anyone else is there. The there is no there is no result in this case. But if there is someone who actually logged in uh, to the mailbox, who's a non-owner, non then you will be able to get this query inside this one, the, the, in this pane. So same like this, this is one of the example. And if you see the threat hunting queries, there are so many queries that is already available within this one plane. So what this means is all the data is consolidated all the you know all of your systems is getting consolidated into one scene platform where you can see a unified view for example if someone is a login is has breached your firewall and then he's logging into a server you will be able to get a unified view from the azure sentinel threat hunting uh, so far you guys are with me any questions nope all right, all right. So the the other demo that I want to uh, other thing I want to go over is is the workbooks. If you are familiar with the the, the query part, uh, you know query language, uh, structured query language, you can actually use the not the playbooks. Let me take my back. I want to go into the playbooks, not the workbooks. The playbooks is the one which actually uh, gives you a raw query uh, interface where you can actually query your your workflows and automate uh, scene functionalities. Right. Uh, other than that, the Let me go back to my thing and okay, we saw the dashboards, data connectors, threat hunting, and then the playbooks. And uh, that come that brings my session uh, to the end. Any any questions you guys have or any other uh, things you want to want me to walk through? So you can drill down your, uh, you know, particular areas, particular uh, query. This query is executing. Uh, let's just wait for a minute. Yeah. So I, I just opened up the, 
you know Azure Activity Query. If you look at the Azure Activity Query, you can see some of the operations that is writing. Say, for example, there's a data source, there's a write that happened. What does that mean? Is when you drill down, you can see the workspace being written by uh, which user, from which IP, from which method, what did it write? So basically, this is a you know drill down analysis of what is happening on your Azure backend. Uh, all right. Uh, so, if uh, there are no other questions, I want to touch the last uh, another update that I want to speak to you guys. Uh, is the global Azure boot camp, uh, virtual boot camp, is happening next Saturday? Uh, we it's a half day event. We aligned uh, some of the uh, speakers, and it is a, the meetup already have. The agenda. Please join the meetup and uh, register for your uh, attendance in the Let's see. Spare me one minute. Okay, this is the event for the next Saturday. Uh, please register yourself and uh, attend uh, the virtual bootcamp. Okay, that, that's the last thing I want to say. Uh, I'm open for any questions that you guys have. about Azure SQL? Yes, uh, oh, there's a question. How about Azure SQL? Azure SQL is also supported. All the past services that are uh, in uh, in the Azure, in the Azure is already uh, supported. So the support for the Azure SQL is uh, is already uh, is already there. What you need to do is you need to enable the SQL at the SQL layer. Uh, let me see if I have a SQL. Uh, I can show you from my resources. Let me show from here. Okay, there's a SQL. I can show you the. The auditing, auditing, auditing. So once you enable the auditing in here and uh, send it to log analytics. Send it to the same log analytics. Once it is done, you will be able to see the SQL related threats in the Azure Sentinel itself. Okay. 
I'm just cutting this. All right. Um, okay. Uh, any other questions that we have? Let me check the questions. All right. Um, I think with that, uh, I want to conclude my session uh, on getting started with the Azure Central. And uh, thank you for joining, folks.